In this topic, we will discuss about triangle law of vectors. Statement If two vectors are represented by the sides of a triangle, both in magnitude and direction taken in order, the resultant sum of the vectors is given by the closing third side of the triangle taken in the reverse order, both in the magnitude and direction. Let an object moving from point A to point B and from point B to point C. The displacement of the object from A to B is represented by the vector AB bar or A bar. The displacement of the object from B to C is represented by the vector BC bar or B bar. Now, join the initial point A of the first vector and final point C of the second vector to get the sum or resultant vector of two displacement vectors. Vector AC bar is the sum or resultant vector of the displacement vectors AB bar and BC bar. Therefore, AB bar plus BC bar is equal to AC bar. This is known as triangle law of vectors. This triangle law of vectors is used for addition of two vectors. Example, a boat with a speed of 5 meters per second crosses a river flowing at 3 meters per second to a spot directly opposite on the other bank, 400 meters away. What is the direction in which it must head? What is the time it takes to cross the river? Let the boat head at an angle theta. The resultant velocity is r is equal to square root of u square minus v square is equal to 4 meters per second. The boat must head at an angle sine theta is equal to 3 by 5. Theta is equal to sine inverse 3 by 5 is equal to 37 degree. Therefore, the boat must head in 37 degree in the backward direction and time taken to cross the boat is t is equal to distance divided by resultant velocity is equal to 400 divided by 4 is equal to 100 seconds. 